if bad actors tell us falsely that every election is stolen and that the only way an election is uh, trustworthy is if they come out on top of it, um, then something it's, it, it's, it tells you something not just about that person or that moment. It maybe wounds us as a democracy and in a way that is hard to repair. Mm-hmm. What do you think about how we get better um, after the wounds that have been inflicted on us through this process? Well, I think, you know, the truth matters. So if we're all in agreement that it is incorrect to say the 2020 election was stolen. What about the 2016 election? Look, I'm not going to go back into history. It was a stolen election. It was stolen. Stolen. He's an illegitimate president. He's an illegitimate president. You know, pretending to be president. Why do you think the president is going to such great lengths to essentially prove that he beat you? Because he didn't. One third of Clinton supporters say Trump election is not legitimate. I think he's an illegitimate president that didn't really win. You are absolutely right. You can run the best campaign. You can even become the nominee. And you can have the election stolen from you. The 2016 election was stolen. Got a nicer way to say that? Say Russia hacked the election. Russia hacked our election. Russia hacked our election. A little louder, please. Russia hacked our election. That was a 9-11 scale event. This was a kind of cyber 9-11. A cyber 9-11. Yes. Russia hacked our election. Russia, you know, of course, hacked our election here. Half of Clinton's voters believe the conspiracy theory that Russia hacked election day votes. We know that they were into voting rolls. Actual interference with the elections themselves. We know it happened. Despite no credible evidence, 67% of Democrats believe Russia tampered with vote tallies. Hacking the U.S. election. Hacking the U.S. election. Russia hacked our election. The Russians hacked our election. Russia hacked our election. Russia hacked our election. Russian hacking of our election. Hacking of our, of our election. Russia hacked our elections. Russia hacked our elections. A stolen election. Russia hacked our election. Russia hacked our election. The universal assessment that Russia hacked our election. Election 2016. Foreign governments hacked our elections. Most young Americans consider Donald Trump an illegitimate president. An illegitimate president. He's an illegitimate president. Why is he Simba illegitimate? Trump. He just won an election. He's an illegitimate president in my mind. That's it. I absolutely agree. Experts urge Clinton Kent to challenge election results. We will see how illegitimate his victory actually was. He's an illegitimate president. Russia hacked our election. Russians hacking our election. Hacked our election. Russia hacking our election. I don't see the president elect as a legitimate president. Trump is an illegitimate president who stole the election. He is not a president. He's illegitimate. And my biggest fear is that he's going to do it again with the help of Vlad, his best pal. It's terrifying. Would you be my vice president for candidate? <laughs> Hillary Clinton voters call to overturn election results. More than 4 million people have already signed a petition on change.org calling for the electors of the Electoral College to, quote, ignore their states, votes, and cast their ballots for Secretary Clinton. Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. We are the victims of a bloodless coup. He didn't win the general election. Yo, Electoral College, make Hillary Clinton president, period. Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. He's not an illegitimate president. Dems don't accept Trump as a legitimate president. This wasn't on the level. This election was not on the level. I don't think he's a legitimate president. Our election wasn't legit! He got his victory from cheating. Yes, Trump cheated. Trump cheated the 2016 election. He's an illegitimate president. No validity, no credibility. Mm -hmm. And because of that... Anger at what some see as an illegitimate president. Donald Trump has got to go! It will not be a peaceful change of power. A number of incidents turn violent. Protesters hurl trash cans, flash bombs, and objects at police. Several officers injured. Protesters threw rocks and smashed windows, leading to more confrontations, injuries, and arrests. The chaotic scene just blocks outside the secure area of the inauguration. If denying election results yeah. is extreme now, yeah. why so let's So let's be really clear. That comparison that you made is just ridiculous. Protests against Donald Trump's election victory surged overnight and some became violent. Violence erupted on the streets of Portland during the second straight day of protests over the election of Donald Trump. Some protesters launched fireworks and other projectiles at police. Several people began vandalizing cars 
Some demonstrators smashed store windows. Protesters faced off with police in other cities, too, including Oakland, Denver, and Minneapolis. Violent protests continuing now for the third day in a row. Some 4,000 angry demonstrators over Trump's election victory taking to the streets. Officers in front of thousands of protesters in what police called a riot. Setting fires, taking their frustrations out on cars and buildings. Not my president! Not my president! Not my president! People threw projectiles at officers and damaged property as well. I threw a trash can at them because I'm angry. One woman driving through was attacked as someone used a bat to smash her windshield. They are undermining our democratic process, everything that we stand for.